Welcome to the sixth chapter of the book of Nehemiah. Last chapter we had all the, uh, well before those the people were all working on the wall and then uh, the Jews had a problem because of so many people being in slavery. That was in the last chapter. And now they're uh, continuing back uh, towards what's going on with the wall. And it says, And it came to pass, as son of Alat heard, and the acousthe is the verb for acoustic to hear, akuo, number 191. I could have highlighted that one. Uh, and tovia, and uh, gersam, G- uh, I'm sorry, gisam, the Aravi, and the rest of our enemies, they heard that I built the wall. And there was not a breach left in it. So it was all closed up. People couldn't get in unless uh, they had to go over it or through a gate. And indeed, until that time, I did not set up the doors in the gates. So apparently then it was open. There were the breaches, and they fixed that up. And last, they set up the doors in these big, large gatehouses. I'm, I'm not sure. I've not been to Jerusalem, but pictures I've seen, I mean, it looks like the gates could have been like 20 feet high or so, heavy-duty wood. And that, uh, and so when he did that, that a son of Alat and Gisam sent to me, saying, oh, Come, for we should come together in the towns in the plain of Ono. I didn't look up where that was. It doesn't really matter. It's someplace between Samaria and Jerusalem. Um, but they were considering uh, to do harm to me. I have against me, but just to me. They're considering to do harm. He knew that somehow. And I sent uh, messengers unto them, Angelus, an angel, a messenger. And here it's not heavenly, so it's used. Uh, Angelus could be a me- an angel if it was from God. It was a heavenly being, that is. He sent them saying, the uh, ergon work is great that I do. Uh, there's all these Greek derivatives in a row. Uh, or a legon saying, we have a logo, leg. Uh, anything with leg has to do with speech. Uh, ergon, ergonomics work, mega great. Ego, the ego, and P.O., to do, the poet. All these are derivatives found in our English um, derivatives uh, book. of. The, let me grab one here. Uh, this is an old one, uh, but you can see inside how they have these little structures, and the structures are the Greek words that you see, and they are numerically coded uh, in, in within the structure. It gives you uh, the Greek word, and then the pronunciation, which I think is really excellent in learning uh, to pronounce uh, Greek. Uh, and then uh, it gives the English, uh, the, the derivative, uh, it, uh, the meaning, and then the uh, A.B. Strong number, the Apostolic Bible Strong number, and down below it has uh, the derivative. And so uh, these, the good way of learning Greek vocabulary, biblical Greek vocabulary. So anyway, the work is great that I do, and I am not able to go down, lest at any time the work should rest. So he's giving an excuse, knowing that they were wanting to kill him. And whenever I shall perfect it, then I shall go down to you. So sends that to him, and they sent to me, as this saying, four returns, um, four times basically, going back and forth, four round trips of these letters, uh, and I sent to them a pestila. Uh, we have the, the apocalypse. Or, I'm sorry, a po- uh, apostolic Bible, apostello, apostolic to be sent. And that's what an apostle was. Uh, and this is the verbal form, apostello. I sent to them according to this logon word. And uh, son of Alat sent to me according to this word the fifth time by his servant, and a letter of being open was in his hand. Epistoline is a epistle, a letter that is to be read uh, to the 
to more than one person. It wasn't just private. So we have these people that are trying to do harm to Jerusalem and to the Jews and using stealth to bring him up so they can get rid of him. But um, he knew it. And whoever's doing the work of God is going to have to deal with this type of a situation of someone trying to do uh, harm to him. Now, some people more than others, I suppose that a lot of it has to do with where you live and how many people are Christian or non-Christians or hate Christians and uh, what the uh, polit- politics are of, this, of the place and so forth. I live in a very liberal area. Not very many people go to church here uh, are Christians, but yet they nobody has ever caused a problem. Nobody's ever said anything uh, bad to me as far as uh, any wanting to do any harm to me, uh, un, unlike Nehemiah. And I thank God for that. I'd hate to live in a place where I'd always have to deal with that hatred of somebody towards a Christian. And was written on it, that letter, uh, that Santa Balat sent. Among the nations, ethnocene, ethnic, it was heard, and Gisam said that you and the Jews are considering to defect. So now he's going to come up with a charge against them. On account of this, you are building the wall, and you should be to them for king. And this is what he's claiming, this other man. on. Uh, that's an excuse that they're, they had to find something to charge against him that he was building the wall for him to be king. And to these things, you establish to yourselves uh, prophets to proclaim for you in Jerusalem, saying that you reigned in Judea. So now, if they can send this to the kings, uh, the rulers on the other side of the river, then uh, they cause Nehemiah a lot of problems. And now... Uh, these words will be reported to the king, Vasali. And now, come, we should consult together. So let's, let's talk about this. And I sent, again, a pestila uh, to him, saying, What happened not is these words which you say, for you lie from your heart about them. Uh, Cardias is a cardiac rest. Uh, Derivative and sebdi a pseudo, something false, a lie. For all were throwing us into fear, saying, Well, their hands will be made faint from their, this work, and it shall not be done. And now I strengthened my hands. Uh, so they're, I'm th- they're thinking, throw them in fear. If they scare them, that none of this will get done. They'll, they'll, they'll cease their work. But he strengthened instead. So when this um, problems come or the attack comes, well, I suppose we have a choice of either uh, hunkering down, covering our head, uh, protecting ourselves, or to step out in um, in the power of God, putting our trust that He will uh, do the right, do the thing for us that He has planned and. I mean, it could be a martyr, but uh, this is what God uh, sometimes puts people to do. When we get to the book of Esther next, we'll see where uh, Esther uh, basically was put into a position that she could have been killed because of uh, not pleasing the king. But yet, um, Mordecai, her, uh, I think it was an uncle, mentioned that, well, this for this reason, she may have been chosen to be the queen. So uh, God has his ways, even though he may choose us and a lot of things look like uh, everything is going good because God chooses us. It doesn't mean everything is going to turn out hunky-dory. There's still problems. I get people writing me, and I can tell sometimes when these letters, they ask a question, but it's a rhetorical question like, uh, you know, you don't really think this or that, uh, it, and they, it's an argument in being planned. And so I'm always on my guard for that, that I don't get into these arguments. I uh, pray to the Lord, and generally I can always uh, get out. And sometimes people will persist 
in causing, trying to cause me a problem, but eventually it dies down. But there was one man who uh, was, uh, I'm not exactly sure what he was, but he wrote and he wanted to buy like $30,000 worth of Bibles. Well, yeah, sure. And um, so I didn't even answer him back in a letter. If I did, I said, you know, you know place the order on the credit card. And then uh, he had all this, these excuses and everything. And so I just quit writing him because I knew it was a, it was a scam. And I, his uh, address was in a trailer court that it was an empty space. Now you can check these things out. But uh, when I didn't answer him, finally he went to Amazon and wrote a really a bad review. And I don't know if it's still on there or not. It may be on the second edition. Uh, but other people have written saying, well, that's not, no way that, you know, this man was going to buy $35,000 worth of Bible. This is all something he made up and for whatever reason. But uh, I have my um, uh, Tobias and uh, that kind of a, of a person. What was the other one's, the other person's name? I forgot. Um, Santa Balat. So anyway, um, I, and I entered into the house of Semai, son of Velaia, son of Metavail, and he was constrained. Um, I'm not exactly sure I'm constrained and um, worried, possibly uh, being frightful, or ex- I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it was uh, not good for Nehemiah. And he said, we should gather together in the house of God in the midst of it, and we should lock its doors, for they're coming by night to murder you, putting the fear in the Nehemiah. Well, we should go into the temple, lock the doors, when they come, we can be protected. And I said, well, who is the man such as I that shall flee? We have the word fevxete, we have the word fugitive comes from that. Who, such a man as I am going to flee? Or who, such as I, shall enter into the house and shall live? Um, Now, I'm not exactly sure. um, Some manuscripts have him instead of the wine server. They have him as a eunuch. The eunuchs could not enter into the house. And that would possibly be one place here that would give uh, a little credence that that may have been the the word. Uh, He was a eunuch. But I, I doubt that because it says, Who is the man, such as I, that shall flee? So it's just probably a way of uh, his uh, uh, way of talking. But anyway, I shall not enter. And I realized, and behold, uh, God did not send him. For the prophetia, prophesied transliteration there, was a word against me. And Tovias and son of Alot hired him so that he should fear I should, so that I should fear phovitho, the phobia, phob, and should do thus and should sin, and that I should become to them for a bad name so as to berate me. Uh, be, you know, scared me, and I went and hid, so then uh, I would have a bad name. But he says, remember, O God, Tobiah and son of Allah, according to these their actions, and Noadiah, the prophete, the prophet, and to the rest of the prophets who were throwing me into fear. So apparently there were other Jews that joined along with Tobias and Santa Valat. Now in the New Testament, well here he, remember, uh, according to their actions, he doesn't ask for their destruction per se, where in the New Testament we Uh, see that um, I think it was James and John saw somebody doing something and they wanted to call down fire from heaven and the Lord told them they didn't know what spirit they were of. And the wall was finished the 5th and 20th of the month Elul uh, in 52 days. Uh, So they worked uh, for almost two months on this wall, got it closed up. And it came to pass when all our enemies heard that all the nations round about us feared, and an exceedingly great fear fell upon their eyes. So, same with Israel. In 1948, it became a country, 
uh, that was set up more or less like these Jews were by uh, the king of Persia, Cyrus, and then uh, following monarchs. And they came back into this area and started rebuilding everything, and the people there uh, wanted to get rid of them. And the same with Israel. 1948, it came back, and right away there was a war against its neighbors, and it defeated them. And then uh, two more wars after that. Um, I'm not sure. I, I forgot which they were, but they uh, won the second war. Uh, they took Jerusalem, and the third war they took the. Uh, oh, there was the third one. They took the Temple Mount, maybe Jerusalem, and the third one. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was at Jerusalem anyway. Um, so a similarity there, and the people, the Palestinians now hate the Jews and want to do anything they can to get rid of them and kill them. And they'll do, uh, use all kinds of um, spiteful ways uh, and uh, dangerous ways and violence and so forth, just as Sanavalat and Tobias w- would have done. And in those days, uh, letters went from many important men of Judah to Tobiah, and those of Tobiah came to them. So there was a letters from the Jews to these Samaritans. For many in Judah were bound by an oath to him, for he was son-in-law of Sekaniah, son of Irai, and Ionan, his son, took the daughter of Meshulam, son of Barakiu, for wife. So the relation, the related now by marriage uh, with this, uh, these um, uh, Tobiah. And so uh, there is still uh, letters being written, sent back and forth, and people going back and forth to the Samaritans. And they were around even when Jesus came. But the Jews would walk around Samaria rather than going through it. And they were the leftovers of these people here. But Jesus didn't. He went in, and we have the uh, story of the woman at the well when Jesus was there, and you can read about that, uh, that were these people. And indeed, the things being advantageous to him, he spoke before me, and they were bringing my words to him, and Tobiah sent letters to throw me into fear. So this was going on, all these attacks against Nehemiah, and he brings it out, and Lord, uh, have mercy on me, more or less. So now we find out what happens uh, afterwards with Nehemiah. Uh, it sets, sets Jerusalem in order. And so I think this probably has uh, re- maybe related with Ezra and with the things that they did after the temple was built and, and Jerusalem was secured. And uh, we'll go through all that in the next uh, video seminar, Chapter 7. Hope you'll join us. And God bless.